The best way to record high quality video and audio content has now partnered with the biggest podcast host around. Your powers combined. And now with Riverside and Spotify working together, you have all the tools you need to record, edit, and publish your podcast. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through signing up for Spotify for Podcasters, which is completely free. There you'll be able to host and distribute your podcast, both audio and the video version, and connect that to Riverside so you can record in high quality video and audio with remote guests. And we even have apps for iPhone, iPad, and Android so you can record on the go wherever you are. First, go to podcasters.spotify.com. This is Spotify's home for podcast creation. And here you can click sign up in the upper right hand corner. If you already have a Spotify account, even just for listening to music, you can click login and log in with your Spotify account. From here, if you're creating a new podcast or just starting out, choose the Spotify for Podcasters option. Here you can log in with your Spotify account, or if you previously had an Anchor account, you can continue with that. I'll continue with Spotify, and here you'll be prompted to log into your Spotify account. You'll now be greeted with the Welcome to Spotify for Podcasters page. Right away, you can create your first episode or even just a trailer for your new podcast. Click the Let's Do It button, and you can upload an audio file you've already created or connect it with Riverside to record that high quality video and audio content with remote guests. Click the Create with Riverside button and then let's go. You'll now see the Riverside login page and you can use the same login for both platforms. Sign up for Riverside with that Spotify login. Now I can record a new episode or edit something I've already created. If this is your first time on Riverside, let's record an episode and do video and audio together. You'll see a prompt from your web browser to allow camera and microphone access. You'll wanna click Allow. You're now in the Riverside lobby. Here's where you'll choose your video input, mic input, and speaker output. You'll see all those options underneath the video here on the right-hand side. Any webcams you have connected to your computer, or if you have an iPhone and a Mac, you can use continuity camera to record high quality video with your mobile device. You can also choose your microphone input or audio interface and your speaker output. On the left, type your name and choose whether or not you're using headphones. Once you've selected your headphone option, click Join Studio. And now you're in the Riverside Studio. This is where the magic happens, where you can invite other people to record with you. To do that, here you'll see a guest link where you can just copy that, or you can use the invite button up here. You can choose a guest, audience, or producer link. Audience members can watch the recording live, but they're not recorded. Most of the time you'll use the guest link and you can copy it here or send someone an email directly from this window. When you send that guest link to other users, they just need to load that in Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. They'll see that same lobby screen where they choose their camera, microphone, and speaker output. We encourage you to use wired headphones. This way you don't have to worry about battery life and you can monitor your own voice in those wired headphones. They'll appear here in the studio alongside you. In the upper right-hand corner, I can label this. Let's call it episode one. You'll also see your name here in the right-hand sidebar. And here you'll see your camera, microphone, and speaker options. You'll also see those down here at the bottom and you can change these up until the point of starting to record. So make sure you have the right audio and video devices selected. And when you're ready to record, click the record button down here at the bottom. You'll get a five second countdown, and now you're recording in high quality video and audio. You and your remote guests are both being recorded locally to your devices. That might be a mobile device from our iPhone or Android app or from their web browser. And those files are being uploaded continuously. And because they're local video and audio files, if they have any internet blips or freezes, none of that is in the recording. You get the pristine, raw video and audio files from every remote guest that you can just download from your Riverside dashboard. And then you never have to think about sending files over a cloud service or having someone upload files so you can download. Riverside takes care of all of that. And if you wanna make your content even more engaging, you can upload video and audio files to our media board play those during the recording, and you'll get these in separate tracks as well in your Riverside dashboard. This will also be in the Riverside editor, and we'll put it all together for you when you're done recording. We also have a chat window, so you can communicate with everyone via chat, or if you have live audience members, they can use it as well. And you can share your screen to add even more visual elements. You can share a window, a tab, or your entire desktop. You'll see here at the top, it's 99% uploaded, and you'll also see upload progress for every member here in the right-hand sidebar. You'll see the little record option so you know everyone's being recorded. And when you're done, click the stop button at the bottom. Once you've stopped recording, everyone's video and audio files will finish uploading. Tell everyone to just wait around for a few moments. If someone leaves prematurely before their video and audio files were uploaded, just have them go to riverside.fm slash upload and the rest of their files will be uploaded. Once you're done recording, I can click edit recording right here and I jump into the Riverside editor. 
Once your files have done processing, the Riverside editor shows you the entire recording, a full AI powered transcript on the left and a video and audio timeline here at the bottom. You and any other remote guests will be color coded, both your names in the transcript and the audio waveforms at the bottom. If you want to edit your content, all you have to do is select words or sentences here in the transcript and click delete. When I do that, I've actually edited the audio and video of my recording. I can also go down here to the timeline, split sections using this tool here, and with multiple splits, I can choose to delete this section by clicking the trash can icon, or if I wanna move segments around, I can click and drag them right here in the timeline, or I can even select text here from the transcript, click the three dots, and then you'll see different options like adding a chapter marker, create a new clip from the selected text, or cut, copy, and duplicate. If I cut here, then I can go later in the recording, click next to a word and hit paste, and now I've moved that content just like I'm cut, copy, and pasting text in a Word document. We also have magic tools like being able to set the pace of your recording. You can remove silences based on how fast you want the pace to go. We'll even let you know how much silence is going to be cut out, both in the number of pauses and the seconds. You can even upload background images or a logo, change the layout of you and your guests, add captions to the video, even highlighting the active word, and you can even add text to overlays either for name lower thirds, sponsors, URLs, or any other information you'd like to place there. You can preview the video here and your editing either via the timeline or transcript. You can also add intro, outro, and segments in the middle of your recording by clicking the plus button here at the end. You can upload video and audio you've created elsewhere or pull in other recordings and edits from your Riverside Studio. Then you can drag those clips to the beginning or end and add your custom intro and outro. Once you've edited your podcast how you like, you can go to the export button in the upper right hand corner. Here we've made it easy to either export the video version of your content, you can choose up to 4K video quality, normalize audio levels which will make everything the same volume, and remove the watermark. Or you can choose to export the audio only version of your content, you can choose an uncompressed WAV file as the format, or MP3, which is what you would use for an audio podcast in Spotify. You can still normalize the audio level so everything's the same volume, and then export the audio only version of your content. If you'd like to make different changes to the audio or video version of your content, you can choose to export the video here, and in this pop-up, you can go to your exports to download those finished files, or keep editing your content. If you choose keep editing, it will save all the edits you just made, but I can go up to export and choose audio only version. I'll choose the MP3 format for a Spotify podcast, still normalize the audio levels, and this will export the audio only version of my content. Once you've exported both formats, you can click go to exports, and in your Riverside account for this recording, you can see both the video versions and audio versions exporting, and when you're ready to download, just hover your mouse and click the download button over each version. Once the clip is done processing, it will automatically send it to Spotify ready to publish. You can give your first episode title a name, write your complete episode show notes here with HTML links. You can choose to publish it now or schedule it for later. Choose whether it's a trailer, full episode, or bonus episode. You can put in your season and episode numbers and even add custom episode cover art. When you're ready, hit next. You can choose whether you want to add Q and A's or polls to your episode. And then you're finally ready to review and publish your episode. And because this is a new podcast, when I hit schedule, I can set up my podcast name, description, author, choose my categories, upload your cover art, and one click away and we'll publish our podcast here on Spotify. And when you're ready to create new episodes for your podcast, after you log into your podcasters for Spotify account, click the new episode button in the top right corner and you'll start the process over again and you can create with Riverside right here. Then your video and audio podcast will be available in Spotify and the audio version can be distributed to Apple Podcasts, Pocket Cast, and every other podcast app. And that's how you can record high quality video and audio content with Riverside and distribute it for free with Spotify for podcasters. If you have any question on that process, leave a comment below this video. We'd love to help you there. And if you want to learn about all the features Riverside has to offer, like our supercharged editor, AI generated show notes and more. And every time we release a new feature, you can learn about it right here on the channel. So don't forget to subscribe before you go. And if you want help building out a video podcast setup and you're just getting started, I'll put a video right up here that goes from all the budget levels from $1 all the way up to thousands of dollars, and you can choose what's right for you. Thanks for watching, and we can't wait to see what you create.